hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is kendra and if this is your first time here please click on the red button that says subscribe for videos like this and for today's video we'll be looking at how to find materials online for your research um if you're writing a, a project uh, a seminar or you're just looking to write an article for your introduction your literature review your systematized review this is how you can find materials online for your research and i'd like to add this video is beginner friendly so if you're interested in this video please do keep on watching now we'll would head over to google for a newbie or a beginner who has no idea about research or who has never looked for materials before online the first thing that would come to their mind would be to do a google search okay and i would like to use this topic that says um, asymptomatic bacteria in pregnant women so if you do a quick google search on that a quick google search will show you a few um, articles like ncbi where you have the definition and you know some other results but this is not what you are looking for for the purpose of a research paper or a seminar or an article you're writing or a project as the case may be you need to go further and you need to use um, basically research articles whether reviews or clinical trials or whatever it is you are asked to use or you feel is suitable for what you are writing so i'll be showing you some of my favorite databases to find materials um the first one is google scholar which is very basic the next one is science open there is a doage directly directory of open access journals there is the pubmed and semantic scholar um as you can see i have marked asteris on sci-hub and it might interest you to know that not all journals are open access that is you cannot access them freely without subscribing or paying for those materials okay so sci-hub has made it possible for people to download um, a lot of journal articles that are not free however it has been banned in different countries but for the purpose of this video i'll be using google scholar and pubmed for illustration click on your google um, app whether on your phone or your computer and type google scholar So as you can see, the first thing that shows here is Google Scholar. Click on it and it opens. Remember our topic. As you can see, the first article that appears here is exactly the topic, asymptomatic bacteria among pregnant women. However, you're not looking at using only one article. You want to use as many articles as you can. And for the purposes of research, you're supposed to use current papers you don't want to use papers from 1907 1990 2000 those ones might be outdated remember new discoveries are made every day and knowledge is always updated so you should try as much as possible to use current papers i would advise that you use papers within the last five years some institutions would accept papers within the last 10 years but um, to make your paper as relevant as possible to use papers that have been written in the last five years So if you look at the right upper corner of the screen here, you see an icon that says year If you click on the year you would see um, you can customize your search year sort by date it sorts from the most recent ones as you can see this one was posted or published 11 days ago and one nice thing about google scholar is is updated frequently so you could see papers that were published yesterday two days ago one week ago as you can see this here was published 11 days ago if you scroll down you see that these ones are basically 2022 very recent one thing you can do is to look for the topics that are similar to your topic so the first paper here um this is from 2010 um let's click on that one asymptomatic bacteria the first thing you'd want to do is to read the abstract so the abstract is basically 
like the summary of everything that was done so go through the abstract and um, check if this is something that might be useful to you sometimes you can discover that the topic might look like it is similar to yours but the abstract might be a little bit different for instance um, let's say I'm using this topic as symptomatic bacteria among pregnant women but I am excluding pregnant women in their third trimester okay I'm only using pregnant women in their first and second trimesters um, if I go through uh, the summary the summary might show me whether a particular research or this particular research included women or pregnant women in their third trimester if i'm not interested in that i would find that in the abstract or the wise called the summary and i would let go this material and continue looking for other materials okay for google scholar you can also customize your search um this button here or this icon here that looks like uh, an inverted triangle if you click on it you will see um, the types of articles there are review articles or any type of articles if you're interested in only review articles you can click on review articles and it will streamline your search an extra tip I would want to include while using Google Scholar is how to download or save references as you mean we are interested in this first article and you want to get the um, reference or the citation um, if you were using the computer you would see on the left side here just beside the star where it says cite c-i-t-e but if you're using your phone you can simply click on this arrow can you see this arrow click on the arrow and you would see site the site is this first thing that appears here if you click on site it brings out the reference in different formats simply click on it highlight and copy okay copy and paste if you're using um refworks which i will talk about in another video you come below here and click on refworks it opens and saves it to your refwork account so refworks is um a software that you use to save um, references of articles you're using for your research i will discuss that in another topic if you're interested to see that video please let me know in the comment section that you want to know how to use refworks or other um, citation engines um, the final thing I would want to highlight in Google Scholar why searching is the use of um, quotation quotation marks so here you can see that asymptomatic bacteria is in quotes okay so using quotes means that every search you find must 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 include asymptomatic bacteria so if you scroll you will see that everything that is appearing in your search has asymptomatic bacteria if you're looking for a phenomenon that has two words and they must go together or you want to make sure that two words are composed really found in any um, article you're using just use the quotation mark next for this illustration we are going to use pubmed go to your search engine and type p-u-b-m-e-d pubmed um, if you remember this was another um, database i showed you so type pubmed and search pubmed would appear like this and you simply click on it to go into the database so again we are going to type our topic However, I want to teach you how to use what we call Boolean factors. Boolean factors are simply and or. Let me show you here. So you have um, these three Boolean factors and or and not. If I use and and pregnant women if you use and and means that it's going to show asymptomatic bacteria and pregnant women so every result that would appear must have asymptomatic bacteria and pregnant women if we go back to the home page of pubmed um bacteria only and search would get so many results you can filter here 
can filter according to abstract if you want free full text the number is going to reduce because out of these 82 some of them are not free you can also um, use select the article type there are books and documents clinical trials and here you have publication date and you can set it to one year two years you can customize the range 10 years five years as the case may be and here you can add other filters like i mentioned before you look at the topics that are related to what you are looking for click on the topic and read the abstract first so here is the abstract if you read the abstract it will help you determine whether you really want to use this paper or not here you can see site simply clicking on site would show you this on the right side here it says format so you can click on it and select the format you want you can copy and paste your list of references and let's assume you want a history of your search a simple thing you can do is to go to advanced here where we have advanced where you can also add your boolean factors if you click on advanced it opens up this remember you can use your boolean factors and streamline your search here if you scroll down it shows you your previous search history so this is how to use pubmed and to get your materials and when you've done this simply download or um so what i like to do is to download so you can either save or email or use your citation manager and save all the materials that you are interested in you can also use sci-hub like i mentioned earlier to download the materials you need so you can go back read them and pick out the points you need for your paper you can use this for other search engines besides pubmed and google scholar you can use this for your cochrane search all these um, databases have the same principle you can adjust them you can use advanced searches you can use your boolean factors you can customize your search um, turn it down to the number of years you want the type of articles you want they all work the same way the website might not be designed the exact same way i hope this video helps you if please like this video and subscribe it is completely free in my next video until then stay blessed bye